Hey everyone, Sean Chow here from SeanChow.com. It is Saturday, I'm here at the Sacramento Outlet for the weekly South OC Cars and Coffee. Let's go check it out. One of the sponsors of South OC Cars and Coffee, this is Postar. They're, uh, well, they're, they're owned by Volvo and they're, these are their EVs. Simon Supercharged Camaro. His son James's Audi R8. And check out this McLaren 720 in uh, matte black. Very nice. With the carbon bonnet. And next to that is the Porsche 918. This is one of the holy trinities along with the Enzo Ferrari and um, McLaren P1. So uh, this is the high tech one of the, of the trio. It's got uh, a twin turbo V8. Uh, making right hand horsepower and then it has a total of three electric motors uh, one in the back and two in the front one for each wheel and they i think they may combine 918 horsepower so <laughs> but yeah this is a a spider you can remove the uh this carbon roof here right, so. Phew. <laughs> and the exhaust comes up here yeah uh, you can check out the exhaust system in the back. Yeah. And a common trait of all Porsches that are hybrid, you notice the uh, the outlines in green? Yeah, green indicates it's a hybrid. So since it's a hybrid, you can actually put a, a sticker on this car that allows you to drive in a carpool lane by yourself. Yeah, interior. That you even say G hybrid. Nice. I like it. Yeah. And here we have a, a 720 with a wide body kit. Interesting. Very low to the ground. It's got a, a hood scoop on the on the roof. Uh, that's fake. It goes nowhere. It just causes an air blockage. Upsets the other dynamics of the car. I mean, you know, aftermarket is cool, but a lot of the time aftermarket just makes the car perform worse. And honestly, this is an example. Classic 9, 911 Turbo. Lamborghini Gallardo. Ferrari 458 Italia, the last of the natural aspirated V8 from Ferrari, a Lamborghini Mura. Wow, I haven't seen, I haven't seen one of these in forever. So, yeah, <laughs> check out those headlights. Looks like they got eyelashes on it. Yeah, wow, classic Lamborghini. Uh, the wheel needs to come out some more. But what's neat about the Mura is it's a V12, but it's, the V12 is mounted longitudinally. So the V12 is across the car instead of like this way. It's like that, so uh, yeah, and yeah, that, that makes the car. That's why the car so wide in the back, and why the wheel kind of are kind of tucked in. Cool, Lamborghini Mura, Ferrari California. Very nice. Another four five eight. This is the Spider version. Yeah, Ferrari Testarossa from the Miami Vice day. You know, for those of us who grew up in the 80s and watching Miami Vice, this car is pretty much famous. Uh, Tessarossa uh, is Italian for redhead. And this is how it got his name. You, you, you see the heads? Yeah, the, the, the heads are red. Yeah, there you go. Uh, this is a flat 12. Like instead of a V configuration, it is, the engine is flat. So there's the left side and there's the right side. And you can see that instead of a V, it is flat like, a, like the Porsche 911. But in, the, in this case, it's got 12 cylinders instead of six. There you go. Taking a Porsche, the GT3, which has a flat six. And this one has a, a proper manual transmission. Yay. Uh, and there's another GT3. This is the RS. This will have an automatic because the RS only comes in an automatic. Another GT3. Nice Acura. 
uh, Ventador SV. Blob, blob, bobs. <laughs> okay. Who wants Q-tips? Three Q-tips. Yay. <laughs> I'm going to assume this is the guy's company. He sells Q-tips. Uh, yeah, so who would imagine? That's a lot of Q-tip for to make a, to get an Aventador. Performante and Porsche GT3, another GT3, last generation, another guy auto, Ferrari 812. There he is. Yeah, so this is the Ferrari 812, 12 cylinder, naturally aspirated, 800 horsepower, 12 cylinder. So that's where the 812 came from. <laughs> yeah. Porsche 488. 48. Look at the wheels on this 488. Is that cool or what? I mean, kind of like old Lambo wheels, but on a Ferrari. 720. Uh, another GT3. Seems to be a lot of Porsches today. And a uh, Porsche Turbo, 911 Turbo. A ZR1 Corvette. Or ZR1. Canadian ZR1, ZR1, yeah. So this is the most powerful Corvette ever made. 755 horsepower. Yeah. It's got not one, but two front cameras see one here and then one there one is to uh see what's in front of you the other one's a track recorder to record your yourself on the track lamborghini That's sto to, um, we have it sure uh, another gt3 uh, lamborghini lamborghini 458 italia and another lamborghini A minivan on air rides. <laughs> Four C, C A Corvette, another Alpha. Oh, the minivan. Seventy eight Trans Am, smoking a bandit. C six Z O six Corvette, highly modified. It is for sale. <laughs> wow. Air extractor fender louvers, uh, the canard that it's only a matter of time before someone steps on it and knocks it off, but for now it's, it's tacked on. Uh, nice wheels there, tiny little mirrors, and a, a gigantic wing. And the biggest exhaust I ever seen. My God, that's like five inches each. <laughs> it's like full Folgers coffee cans. Yeah, this is Corvette Row right here. So check out, we have a 427 Corvette convertible. Uh, pretty sure this is not the original engine, but if it was, it would be worth a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty crazy. Here we have a, a C8, uh, C7. Another C7 with some uh, nice painted touches on the engine. C6, another C8, another ZL1, C6 ZL6, not your aspirated 427 cubic inch LS7 motor. Convertible, C7, another C7. Yeah. The Corvette Club is here. This, this entire road is it's just Corvette. Uh, there's a C6 ZL1, very nice. C7 Z06. Callaway Supercharged Corvette. Callaway C6. Actually, you know, it's Callaway C7. Nice. And it's signed by Reese Callaway himself. Uh, a C8 with Lambo doors, cool, C3, another colorway Corvette, it's a Corvette takeover, not just one road, they took over two roads. 
check out this uh, 992 with a matte blue wrap. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a wrap. I don't think it's definitely not a paint job. Well, it's cool anyway. He's here to enforce the uh, no speeding, no revving, and no burnout rules. All right, check out. This is the Ford F-150 Lightning. And instead of having a tailgate party, it's having a, a front gate party. All right, so you got the outlets to power the Mr. Coffee coffee maker. Uh, donuts, Krispy Kreme, everything. Hey, okay, I'm gonna have me a donut. That's, oh yeah, original glaze, that's what I want right there. Beautiful. Front gate party. So, yeah, the Ford F-150, this is, yeah, this is gonna be a hot seller, I can tell you that right now. I mean, uh, one of the cool things about the Ford F-150, it has what to call bi-directional charging. So most of the time, you know, you plug, you get home and, and, then, and then you plug it into your house and then it charges up. But it has bi-directional charging, which means that during times of a blackout or when the grid is being strained, the, the car's battery can go the other way and supply power to power your house or to help firm up the grid. So in the future, expect every EV to be able to do this. So those who say, uh, you know, we can't supply enough power for the grid. Well, these are battery sources and not only do they store, they store power so they can release it, not just to power the car, but they can release it to power the grid or your house. Little traffic jam here at the back. So here's another Ford F-150 Lightning, and, and this one is for sale. Uh, clearly, the uh, the owner is trying to flip it for a profit because, uh, yeah, they, these things are selling for way over MSRP. So I guess, you know, if, if you can make some quick buck on it, and if you want to overpay for an F-150 Lightning, uh, give this guy a call. Man, check out the Super Legera with the big wing. <laughs> Hmm, fake exhaust, real exhaust. <laughs> and then, whoo, oh. nice wrap on this uh, Porsche here. 650 with a carbon hood. GT4, 911, Audi, another Audi. A GT3, McLaren, I mean Maserati MC20. There you go. Unlike that McLaren 720 before with a fake hood scoop at the roof, this McLaren 650 LT, this hood scoop, this is real. This actually sucks in air and then sends it to the engine in the back. And the top nine exhaust system right there. And, and check this out. Yeah, and that's here you can see it, but there are little cutouts on the in, on the exhaust on each side. You can see a, a hole, a little cutout in the hole. Uh, that's that's for rain. So if it rains, uh, it ensures that the water falls outside the exhaust and doesn't go into the motor. Uh, check it out. His and hers GT4. So this one is uh, his. And uh, I guess this one is, is hers. Or maybe it's his and his son's GT4. <laughs> or her and her daughter's GT4. We'll never know. Okay, I think I'm gonna end the video with this Chevy SS. It, I was gonna say it looked like a mild manner family car, but it's really not with the black and white decos and wheels like that. And uh, <laughs> the GoPro attached to either side and all right so here we have <laughs> an engine with a, a supercharger and this is an exercise in packaging right there so uh, supercharger routes around here goes through the inner cooler right there routes over on this side and then finally goes into the intake and uh, yeah so pretty nuts and you can see you're probably thinking hey wait a minute that's just outside the hood yes so that, that, that's right. So you have to modify the hood. Mm -hmm. yeah, the only way to make it clear, cut a hole in the hood and, and then uh, put that thing on top. 
definitely not a family car anymore. All right, so this is Self OC Cars and Coffee. Happens every Saturday from 9 to 11. If you're in the area, you definitely need to check it out and come and enjoy some coffee and check out some nice cars. John Chow from GiantShop.com. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed that, give me a thumbs up. Please like and share my video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.